Welcome to the lightning talk for our work titled Mesa Microarchitecture Extensions for Spatial Architecture Generation. This is a collaborative work between University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, UC San Diego, and Google Research. As we know, modern high-performance processors are now increasingly integrated with various types of on-chip accelerators. However, these accelerators are not always used by all workloads, and nor are they easy to program for. And therefore, it would be ideal if the CPU could somehow exploit the accelerator's resources when they are idle and unused. In this paper, we focus on spatial accelerators that can be reconfigured. We propose adding an on-chip hardware block called MESA that can monitor execution, translate the CPU's instructions to configure the spatial accelerator, and finally allow dynamic offloading and thus transparently accelerate without requiring changes to the program code or requiring recompilation. In most cases, spatial accelerators today require special compilers, libraries, languages, or software stacks to operate. And this presents a major barrier to entry and hinders mainstream adoption. With Mesa, we offer a dynamic, quote unquote, just-in-time alternative to program these accelerators so that they aren't simply wasting time sitting idle when they are unused. And furthermore, with Mesa, we collect performance information at runtime to enable dynamic optimization to further fine tune the accelerator's configuration based on this feedback loop. At a high level, MESA works as follows. First, we monitor CPU execution for loops and functions that are suitable for acceleration. These are called acceleration candidates. Next, we translate these instructions to an accelerator configuration by building an internal data flow graph, or DFG, that is kept in hardware in the MESA controller. And finally, we configure the accelerator based on this DFG and allow dynamic offloading. After this, MESA monitors execution on the accelerator for opportunities to improve, and if found, repeats from step two. If you're interested in learning more about this work, please attend our talk in section 1B on Monday at 10.15 a.m. Thank you.